Hello, uh, today I thought I would do a little demonstration video on how to set up cloud gaming on, on the Xbox Game Pass app. Um, today is September the 15th, 2020, and today is the day that xCloud officially becomes cloud gaming. Um, I was lucky enough to be in the xCloud beta program, so I'm, I'm fairly well versed in how to do this, but I appreciate there's lots of people out there that aren't, so I thought I'd do a very quick demonstration video on how to pair your phone to your controller via Bluetooth, how to get the app, and then how it all works from there. Now this is a, a Galaxy Samsung uh, S9 Plus, so obviously I'm not really sure how to operate your phone because there's probably lots of millions of phones, different types out there. Um, but first off, you need to turn on Bluetooth so for me, I just drag down from the top, turn on Bluetooth, and that's already on for me. From there, we go to Settings, and then Connections, and then Bluetooth. Okay, while that's doing that, I'm going to turn on the controller, hold, press and hold that, and then I'm going to press the pair button, which flashes like so. So it's going to scan, the phone's going to scan, and as you can see already, it's found an available device, and there it is, my Xbox wireless controller, Press the button and it says pairing. Do you want to pair with the Xbox wireless controller? Yes, okay. And there we go, you can see the light has stopped flashing and I can now actually control my phone with the controller, which is pretty cool. That always surprises me when that works just quite as well as it does. So the other thing that you've possibly noticed is this little clip that I have. This was five pounds from Amazon, sprung loaded, so you can put different size screens in there. Very simple to use. The phone literally just clips in there like that, and then this clips onto the controller. As you can see, I'm gonna get into my phone again. It's a little bit awkward because I use my fingerprint to get me into the phone. And there we are, we're in. So the next part of this tutorial is where to find the app and then what to do once you've got it. So we'll move over to my phone screen so I can explain that part to you. So here we are on my phone. You first need to go to the Play Store on your Android device. And then I typed in the search field Microsoft. There's different ways you can get here, but um, it might be worth following this if you're not sure how to do that. Hit search. There we go. We get lots of Microsoft apps come up. And we're after the green um, Game Pass app. You should see there's several Xbox ones, but it's specifically the Game Pass app that we want. Uh, oh, there we go. Just went past it slightly, that one. So select that. And then press install. It's roughly 44 megabytes. So depending on your connection, shouldn't take too long to download. It takes a little while to install, actually. So you'll be stuck on the install screen for a little while while it does its thing. There was a beta version of the Game Pass app um, a little bit earlier in the day, but they've sort of uh, incorporated it now. So you click open, and then the app starts to open up and you should be greeted with the Game Pass. There we go. So if you're already signed up, click already a member, and if not, obviously click sign me up. So once you've clicked already a member, it takes you through to your Microsoft login screen. So input your details and log into Xbox like you would normally. And then you should be greeted with a welcome screen. So click Let's Play. And that should take you into the app. You'll see a screen in a second. And there we go, we're in. So you will probably notice if you've had the Game Pass app before, we've got a third tab now called Cloud, which is good. And this is obviously everything that we can play um, in cloud gaming now. So we've got most popular, all games. There were some uh, good for mobile titles. This is in the all games. I don't know if it's got every single title yet. It looks like it has, to be honest. These are all playable via cloud gaming. So if we scroll up and we go to our jump back in, we're going to jump over to Ori. You'll see a loading screen. Get a little menu come up, just close that. And there we go. So let's take you over to the game itself. So here we are. This is uh, Ori and the Blind Forest. And as you can see, it's, uh, well, it's on my phone. It's a pretty cool thing in its own right, yeah? Um, 
it's pretty uh i was quite surprised with how um, reactive it is and how snappy it is the controls are a lot snappier than i was expecting the the lag and the latency aren't anywhere near as bad as i was expecting you wouldn't want to play a fast-paced twitch shooter like call of duty or anything on here but as you can see you know it's pretty responsive very playable great for indie titles um obviously and some um triple a titles as well depending on the reaction time needed to um input your controls basically but i think it's a great experience a uh, couple of caveats this is only on android at the moment uh, this it's been well documented about the issues with apple um so it's not coming to the apple store anytime soon unfortunately um uh, what else can i tell you about that so uh, as of recording like i say the uh, the game pass app is in beta i'm sure they will consolidate that into obviously one game pass app at some point in the future if you press the home button you get like a very cut down guide you can see friends online in fact we've got puxley online as we speak um and you can start a party send innovations and see your achievements but other than that the menu buttons work as a menu it's 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 the full game other than that and it's absolutely fantastic i hope the camera's doing this justice um, to come back, I normally oh, I normally press the back screen to quit the game, and then we're back to this screen, and then we can choose a different game that will load up, and there we are. That that's cloud gaming for you. Um, like I say, I was lucky enough to be part of the X Cloud beta. Absolutely loved it. Thought it worked really well. I think this is going to be a bit of a game changer for Microsoft and Game Pass. And I'm really looking forward to see where they're taking it. So I hope you found this video useful. If you do, please um, hit the like button. Um, please subscribe. We do lots of content on this channel. Um, share the love. Tell people about this if you found this useful. And if we need to do another tutorial video soon to update this one, we probably will. And I'll see you then.